Welcome back to our channel. This is my youngest son, Vino. Hi, my amor. You want to say hello? He's the youngest one out of three. My oldest one is Clemente. He's a gorgeous standard poodle. He's big. He's 70 pounds. And then I have my little girl, Cleopatra. She's not even one yet. She's also a standard poodle. And then Vino Vino. Vino, what are you? Are you a terrier chihuahua? I don't know. We don't know. He's just love. He's pure love, my baby. You want to stay up here or you want to go down? Down. Okay. Today, I will be sharing with you guys five things that I've been doing in this quarantine to keep my dogs tired. A tired dog means a happy dog and a happy dog means a happy life for mama. <laughs> so before the quarantine, my dogs are used to going to the park about three times a week at least. They are large dogs and they have a lot of energy and I live in an apartment. So when this whole quarantine started, I was overwhelmed i there was one day that the dogs were running around with pent-up energy i had pent-up energy and i thought i was going to go crazy i'm like i don't know how people with kids do it so instead of feeling sorry for myself i'm like okay i'm gonna come up with new creative ideas or just change my routine you know ideas that have been here forever so i'm not gonna tell you anything new but maybe it'll spark something in your own routine and something that you can grab and make it your own okay the number one if you have a large dog breed if you have a standard poodle golden doodle anything and you live in an apartment your dog needs to run you're gonna have to find a way to exercise your dog to release some of that pent-up energy if that means turning your living room into a dog park if that means scheduling a play date with your neighbor or a friend that maybe has a backyard for me i turned the parking garage into a dog park i put a gate in the hallway or the driveway and then i let them go crazy i've been doing this early in the morning before any cars go out it's the first thing that i do before i take them on a walk and this has made a huge difference on how calm they stay throughout the whole day they just get a burst of energy out first thing in the morning and it makes me so happy also just to see them having so much fun number two is treats that take a long time for them to be entertained with uh, let me show you some of my favorites this type of toys are amazing also it takes a learning curve depending on the dog so don't be discouraged if you get it and they're like eh, i don't like this so basically the way this works you can fill them up with anything really you don't have to spend a lot of money and go buy treats you can fill them up with peanut butter they love that you can fill them up with uh, their actual food if they love their food you can feed them through one of these ones and they take a long time eating out of them and it just mentally stimulates them it takes them longer they're more entertained also my favorite treat i put this one in my favorites video is the marrow bones I buy them raw, I give them to them raw, and it takes them one hour to eat them. Well, for my large standard poodles. Vino Wino finishes the bone in like 30 minutes because he has a small mouth and he can just really get in there. But what's great about it too is that you can use the empty marrow bone and fill it up with peanut butter. Just careful there. I recommend you get the smaller ones for the peanut butter because I tried doing it in a large bone and it was way too much peanut butter and it got everywhere. So <laughs> learn from my mistakes. Another thing we've been doing a lot and if you have anything doodle, I hope you're doing it. Grooming. Grooming, grooming, grooming. I want my dogs to associate grooming with a positive experience. I had kind of like a nightmare experience with Clemente. His first grooming here in LA, they cut his ear. It took me about a year for him to feel happy going to the groomer. So with Cleopatra, I really want to make sure that she associates grooming with a positive experience. Every time she lets me brush and she doesn't do a fuss, I give her a little treat and she gets happy. Uh, Clemente is already used to it, so I kind of just brush his ears and his afro because that's just part of his personality i love it and with my vino wino i gave him baths I, I learned to trim his nails so basically this is a perfect time to hone your grooming skills uh, therefore maybe coming out of the quarantine you won't need the groomer as much and only you'll save a little money and you'll gain amazing quality time with your furry baby okay the next one is going to sound very simple but i don't know why i didn't think of it sooner and it is training just honing down the skills that they already have or maybe perfecting something that you never had time to do before the quarantine or just life got in the way and you really just gave up 
<laughs> I'm guilty of that one. Uh, or showing them a new trick. So for each one of my dogs, I have one thing that I wanted to work on per week. So for Vino, he actually never learned to sit. And I didn't know why. Like for Cleopatra and Clemente, it was so easy to learn how to sit in like a minute. For Vino, now I learned that if the smaller the dog, the more problems they have sometimes with learning how to sit because they have to be smaller. So I've been very patient with him and I am very proud to report that now he can sit down and go down and it makes me so happy. For my little Cleo, I wanted her to learn how to high five and that's what we're working on. And with Clemente, I just want him to be better off leash. So that's what we're working on right now and just honing kind of skills that we had in the past. Down. Sit again. High five. Good girl. Good girl, mi amor. Vino, we know. Sit. Yes. <laughs> And this last one is games. Finding ways to mentally stimulate your puppy. Research what kind of games are best for your dog. I ordered one from Amazon. I'm gonna show you right now. I actually don't have it right now. It didn't get here on time before I shot the video. Um, but there's also games that you can do with things that you have at home. Uh, for example, the three cups one where you put a treat under one of the cups with them looking and then you move the cup around and you try to make your dog guess where the treat is and if they do, they get it. Ready? Right there. Where is it? Good boy! Good boy! guys those are my five things they're not things that i'm sure you haven't thought of before but maybe just hearing them sparks an idea in your brain or you can grab it and make it your own can you tell them to subscribe to hit the like button and the notification bell yes bye guys